Hello guys, Rad here from Rad Pizarot and I do want to let you know that the extended monthly reading which focus in depth into a career and uh, relationship life for the representative side uh, sign are now available for just as little as uh, one dollar. So if you want to um, if you want to go more in depth for your star sign and you like my readings in the way I read, you can uh, purchase these extended videos on my website, uh, either going there uh, from your browser or uh, just, you know, visiting the link that is displayed down below in the description of this video. And uh, <clears throat> that way you can purchase those videos. So it's like getting a, a two additional readings to the general reading of the month which is totally free the general one and it is on my youtube channel and um, for those who are more prone you know to know everything they can purchase for just three dollars their sun moon and ascendant sign and that way they are gonna have six reading to kind of like piece together and to and to obtain the biggest picture ever for what is yet to come for them into this representative month and the price is that low because I want to show you um, my appreciation for your loyalty and support. And in case you want to uh, support the channel furthermore, that is the way you do it. So with that being said, I just wish you best of luck and please enjoy your monthly general tarot reading. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye. Hello Libra, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be your monthly general tarot reading for July 2018. So we got a four position card spread and the first position it does point to the topic of your month Libras. Then the next card points to the challenges you have to over overcome during the month. Then we do have the third card that expresses up the positivity the, the month has to offer in you to you and the last card is known as the final outcome or the result of the uh, previous three positions and as this is a uh, <clears throat> enhanced tarot spread it means that we're going to use couple of cards per position so the first position here which is expressing the, the topic of your mind wow look at that we do have the ace of cups with the king of swords so we do have an, an offer coming in your way and this is what the, the uh, month is going to be all about not just because it's a person with a new beginning with the ace of cups but the ace of cups is the enterprise which people want so they can start fresh so they can start clean or so they it's, they can stop dealing with a certain you know activities into their lives which they don't want to deal with any longer and we're not talking about resolving those kind of activities but just detaching yourself from it the ace of cups is a card of, of salvation and many people says this is a card of love and yeah but that is not the love in between the man and the woman that is about the love for life you know and this is presented to you by that guy here the the king of swords this is someone who really see your talent someone who is capable to foresee your uh, your capabilities if i may say it that way and it is someone who very well knows how to utilize them so i will not be surprised if this is a, a business offer or a an offer of a partnership all right because that person is more uh, more prone to um professional fields than romantic fields all right and if it and if this is about romantic field it will be purely at least at the start uh, a physical connection or kind of like he he will like you physically than emotionally uh, despite that we do have the ace of cups here but that doesn't mean that afterwards an emotional flow cannot be established however very important here to be said with the king of swords is that you need to be very careful when you uh, interact with that person and especially when you lead serious conversations because that person can sense lies and as well they are very capable to twist truths in the same way uh, what I mean is that they are capable to withdraw information or present fictions at fa as facts and make others to believe in it and I'm not saying that it is a, a liar but if it comes to that he can be or she can be and they are doing a very good job in it 
then we do have the challenges that you need to overcome that is going to be the ten of uh, pentacles with the two of cups so definitely we do have a romantic interest here and that romantic interest is coming as a challenge and you have to basically hold your horses because uh, what happens here is with the ten of pentacles and with the two of cups is that you will become too much dependent from that guy or from that woman for what it seems more dependent uh, more dependent than you would like to become all right and i'm not saying that you will become lovers here but there will there will be some sort of you know emotional connection it could be an emotional connection brother to brother it could be emotional connection father to um, daughter or a, you know father to a son or a mother to daughter mother to a son etc etc the bottom line is here that the more you involve yourself with them and the more strings you attach into that guy or a girl or a woman uh, <clears throat> the more dependable you will become to a point you know that you know, to a point in which you will basically not be able to walk away just like this you know because there will be too much uh, Mm, how can I play too much conditions placed for one another but that doesn't mean that uh, you will not have a pleasant time with them it is just you need to know here that you sacrifice one thing over another you may sacrifice your personal freedom you know for being uh, being taken care of uh, from someone else from someone else because these guys here these people they are very capable to take care of particular um individuals and as well when we talk about the ten of pentacles and the two of cups here it does these couple of cards that speaks that you may trust way too lightly and what we said about that person huh that they can um present fictions as facts so i could advise you here that uh, you have to be very careful when you uh, trust the pure words and as well whenever you hear something you always have to um, kind of like you know scale it for what you know to be true instead of blindly believing into it and then we do have the positivity for you Libras that will be the Knight of Swords so we do have another person here with the Eight of Swords so that is someone who is already around you okay this is a, a newcomer here alright but we do have someone that is already around you and for some reason is within your life alright and you you kinda uh, even though you may want to push them away or you want to uh, how can I place it you want to break uh, certain connections or relationships with that person uh, something does not allowing you to do and uh, for what it seems these guys kind of like uh, or these women kind of like will breed sense into your mind and you can fully fully trust them for what it seems knight of swords with the eight of swords they always sees the um the situation objectively and they are truth seekers all right so that being said uh, they will be able to give you a and an objective opinion or opinion here it is not about uh, your benefits it is not about someone else's benefits it is all, it is all about what the situation is how lucrative could be you know how happy could be etc etc because um, <clears throat> As I said here, you may be slipped down the road and thrown under the bus, etc., etc., from uh, from that person which is offering you this opportunity to allow you, you know, to start fresh or to basically, you know, make your life much more easier. But what they are not telling you here is that there could be some things that you have to do for him, and uh, you know, you have to be objective about that. So very important is to, uh, despite how, um, what kind of connection you do have with that person who is uh, very close to you, by the way, with the Eight of Swords, this, this speaks that something much more than just friendship binds you, alright? There could be a blood connection, you know, it could be an ex-girlfriend or a boyfriend that you still have feelings for or something else is binding you, etc, etc. And you need to know that by falling into a, a positive position, it is not about hatred, it is not about feelings, it is about that they want to see you happy here, alright? And 
they will, as I say, they will be very, very objective and if they kind of logically find that this opportunity given, it is something that will really benefit you and you will not have to pay dearly for it, they will encourage you to do so. But if they kind of like logically realize that this is kind of a trap and the cost will be more than you know, they will encourage you not to take it. So you better believe to them rather than to the newcomer. And then at the end, as a result of all that, we do have the Five of Cups with the King of Coins. So that is yet another guy, which is, uh, how can I place it? So what happens here for you, Libras, is that either taking this opportunity or not, at the end you will end up with someone who will compensate your losses, all right? So, if you take the opportunity, there will be a hidden strings behind it for what it seems. Or you will get way too attached to the newcomer. And that speaks that you may start losing things. And we have a newcomer as well. That, that, no, that is not a newcomer because it falls into a, such a position. But this is a, a person who is going to start filling up the gaps for you. Alright? or cleaning up your mess and it's going to be different from this one so what happens at the end my bottom line is what happens at the end is that if you make a wrong decision here it's not going to be on on your expense and uh, it's a little bit of a difficult reading the five of cups that falls at the end points that um, you know you may experience certain losses or a certain disappointments but because we do have the king of cups here onto into the second position it speaks that that particular person the king of cups uh, the king of pentacles excuse me which is uh, as well close to you will actually uh, kind of like uh, deflect the majority of that disappointment and and and, and those um those losses that you may experience and nonetheless you are going to recognize the right path for yourself however that car as well speak that you will be reminded of a um a poignant experiences from the past and that will make you reconsider some of your decisions so what it is important here again at the end to say is that during that month you will have a proposition or an offer coming in your way uh, and it could be as well multiple offers and multiple proposition and what you need to choose here are those which you don't have any emotional connection to all right listen to the person that really wants to um really wants to see you happy and at the end whatever you end up with it is exactly what you have fought for here and if it is something you're not satisfied with do not allow others to actually pay your bills all right but instead pay it for yourself so with that being said this was your uh, monthly tarot reading libras it is a, li a little bit superficial it is a little bit uh you know much broader than i would have liked to but basically this is what the cards are pointing uh, and it is a general reading and with that being said if you um if you want to schedule a, a personal reading with me everything you need to know about it will be uh, listed down there in the description of this video rat signing out now see you next time bye